The Arab world has lived under autocratic authoritarian systems for half a century or more. And the values of democracy, of pluralism, of tolerance have always been deeply ingrained in the people, in their Arab heritage, in their Islamic faith, in their Christian faith, and their value system. So what happened was when people finally got so fed up with the systems that they were living in and they went out into the streets, young people and adults alike, and overthrew the Tunisian and then the Egyptian and then other systems are being challenged, this simply allowed people to practice for the first time values that they had deeply ingrained in them. It's not like they learned these values suddenly. It said they've had these values and they've fought for liberty, for uh, equality, for democracy, for accountability, for justice. They've fought for these for many, many years throughout the Arab world, but they were always put down uh, by the security services, by the regimes, by Western powers. And suddenly now they've broken through this and they've started to reach a point in Tunisia and Egypt and others to come where people can define their own system. And this is really the new phase we're at. This will take many, many years. These transitions don't happen very quickly. Uh, but youth led this process, but it's not only youth. It's all the adults in society share the sentiments of youth, but it was the youth that got out there and, and pushed and, and started the uh, change to happen.